Carnival. Carnival. Not the Carnival where they get naked. I wish I was at that Carnival. <laughs> it's a different kind of Carnival. It's a little kids. Hey there guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for clicking on. We are coming to you live from the top of a Ferris wheel. Carnival fun, carnival fun. Somewhere. There she is. There's nothing I don't share on this channel, right? And uh, we jumped from Saturday Carnival Fun Day, which was a great time with family, to Tuesday. It's uh, about three o'clock in the afternoon, and uh, just got the phone call nobody wants to get. It was my doctor who has reviewed my lab work from about a week ago and he tells me that he needs me to start dialysis ASAP, right away. My kidney function is at 5% and uh, my body is failing me. So he doesn't want to, uh, He doesn't want me to get sick and, and go any longer than I need to, so he wants me to go to hospital. So we have uh, worked things out. Uh, I'll go in tomorrow, and I will have to start treatment right away. And I will most likely be in hospital for about a week. I'll undergo one, two, one or two, maybe even three dialysis treatments. Um, and they'll get me started, and I'll, of course I'll have to continue dialysis when I leave hospital and uh, you know it's a it's a life support treatment that uh, I'm lucky exists really because if it didn't I'd be dead it's something I've done before and it's not easy and I know I have a long road ahead of me before we look at another transplant and uh, I'm shaky and I'm trying to, you know, trying to stay calm and, and be strong, not for only myself, but my family. I need to be strong for them. And I need to be strong for all of you watching. I want you guys to see that, you know, we, we will face hard times in this life. But you can't give up. You can't surrender. You gotta stay in the fight. And so that's exactly what we're gonna do. And we will now go to the next chapter, uh, which is dialysis. And, you know, I wasn't too surprised really. My blood pressure has been hard to control over the last few days. It's been sky high to give you an idea. Last night's reading was it was 244 over 144, which is stage three hypertension. I mean, very dangerous stroke, heart attack. So many things could happen. Um, it's not helping the already damaged kidney. Uh, medications just won't bring that number down. I'm uh, having a hard time with swelling, so a lot of fluid retention. It's all part of the disease and. Uh, you know, I've been complaining about that on this channel, my ankles, my feet, my hands, my face, everywhere really, and it's been just it's getting out of control. So I wasn't too surprised. My body is failing me, and I knew that things were deteriorating, and so it wasn't too too much of a shock to get a, a, a call from the doctor. Uh, in a way, I'm kind of relieved. I, you know, dialysis was the inevitable. It was... It was the next step before we can look at a transplant I, so you know here we are let's just let's just move forward um, but I got six months six months out of this kidney
from when they first told me what was happening. Your kidney is borderline rejecting, and we don't know how long it's going to last. I got six months, and you know what? I made the most of it. And so I have to be strong now for you watching, for my friends, for my family, for my clients. People are counting on me. And, um, you know, people are watching. And, and, and you know, how's Jay going to deal with this? And it's not going to be easy. It was a dark time then, and it's going to be a dark time now. And I'll go in tomorrow. I'll be hospitalized for about a week. I'll undergo one, maybe two treatments in hospital and uh, get on the dialysis machine and... Uh, and then I'll leave hospital and and, and uh, I'll continue dialysis at home, which uh, I'll hook up for treatment every night. And hopefully the transition is quick and smooth and I can get back to work. And, uh, you know, my clients are counting on me and I want to get back as soon as I can. Just started playing hockey again, you know, uh, that's going to have to take a back seat. I've been trying to get back to where I need to be as far as, you know, with my training. And, and that's been a very hard time for me. And it's going to be even harder now. So, But uh, don't give up on me. I'm not giving up on me. And, uh, you know, I just want to thank you guys for clicking on and, and subscribing to the channel. And, and just you've been seeing the uh, progression. And, uh, you know, you've been following along. And, and I just hope that what you take away from this is that I'm someone who, you know, will continue to stand tall, keep my head up and, and, and just fight forward. You know, um, it's not an easy time and it's going to get harder. And I know I have a great support system. I have friends and family and everyone that is just, you know, I have a lot of people in my corner and I'll, I'll be okay. And, you know, I'll bounce back. <sighs> Hospital ER. When I walk through those doors, everything changes. I'm scared, I'm, I'm, I'm very anxious, but I'm excited because the sooner I do this and I take this step here, well, the sooner I can I can recover and get better. So uh, I want to thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned.